Hello everyone, so if we want to learn surface modeling and master it, we always have to come back to simple practices and just practice surface modeling and small little details like that. So we have here a curved surface where we have yeah this little yeah cut or something on the top and as you see we have very minimal topology so let me show you one way how we can do that so there are actually many ways but i think this way is really que uh, clean so what we will do is first of all let's create here our main shape with a corner rectangle snap to the middle press c yeah something like that and let's extrude it so we just want the surface so now first of all we want a curved surface on the top because this will make everything a little bit more interesting because this would be boring so very simple we just will loft it so we will create some lines from here to here so just uh, cut like break it in half from from both sides and now just select them both shift s for subdivide and take this middle point here select it and just bring it up a little bit right so both lines are also intersecting because now we can do something cool if we shift click select those edges uh, curves and press l to loft and tap tap for g0 you see we get a curve, uh, curved surface but it's not quite there yet that's why we've created also this long one so just shift click and add this one and now you see we have a very perfect surface so let me hide this thing here so let's hide our two curves and let's make our corners round with the curved surface so let's join everything and select those edges and just give them a nice little fillet now first of all let's create a, a curve where we want to have our cut or how it's called so go to the top shift a and just go here from one corner middle points to the other middle point right and also with g bring it here to the top so that looks great and also again shift s and again select this middle point or it is already selected and let's bring this one a little bit up right so we basically have here our yeah, main construction and now what we want to do is we want that this surface here smoothly transitions into or uh, to this curve and the same on the other side and the very important thing here is is um, because we want as smooth as possible uh, transition of yeah our surfaces here so we will cut here a little a, a little bit away and this one so we will delete this whole surface here so we have a hole so we can rebuild everything and then we will create here the curve and loft it but here at this point we want a g2 continuity because g1 will be also smooth but g2 will be smoother and here obviously will be g0 because here will be a sharp cut and we will just fill it that at the end but here as well it will be g2 if that's confusing and you don't know what this is below this video you find here my pdf surface essentials everything is explained how to use surface modeling what all the terms mean so yeah download that really valuable resource so let's do what we want so first of all here from the top view we just want to delete some of the surface so we can work with it right when you work with like continuity and surfaces it's always good just to have some curves so not just straight cuts like that you will see it will look weird so we want here to snap uh, first of all here control point curve from the middle and drag this one out on the normal x we need here tangency so create one tangent point create one another point and also let's create tangency here so go to the center middle shift snap somewhere here on the purple line and in the middle perfect so yeah, we can now adjust the curve and make it perfect and all that stuff but this will do fine here and let's do the same at the top so shift f control point curve to the center tangent line one more line 
shift construction line and snap here. So we have something like that. And you see that looks already cool. So let's take those two curves and with shift one, or I have it on shift one for you, it's imprint here, shift one. Again, download the PDF. You will also have a bonus, all my special shortcuts. So let's imprint on the surface. And now we can delete this whole surface here because now we have some place to create our surfaces, right? How to connect it? Maybe some of you would think, oh, okay, we have this edge and this curve, we can just loft it. And yeah, we can also give it here a G2. But the problem is we can't really fill this hole then in a good way. And we can't give it lofts here. Um, so maybe we could patch it here. So for that, we have to select all those boundary edges. So let's select this face here and control R and snap it here where the curve comes. So something like that. So we can try here now to select all of those edges and patch it. And you see it works. And if we give here G1 and G2, so we have something like that. But the problem with uh, this method is, I mean, it's correct, but we have no control over the sharpness here, right? Because it's just patching here. And if we take here our original one and let me hide just for a second those curves here, maybe you see that that here this transition is a little bit sharper. So, okay, it's a little bit hard to see. So let me uh, show it to you what we can do. So if you want more control over your sharpness and just in general your patches, you can create guiding lines for your patch. So let's go here to the middle and again create a line from middle till middle and shift one or imprint here onto the surface. Delete this curve. So, because we want now to create, to create here one curve, which we can control. So that we have here G2 and here G0, but G2 can look like that, or it can like be very sharp, you know, so that we have much more control over the surface. So that's why we created those two edges because now you can select one of this and the second and now bridge edge, one of the most important commands, shift B. And you see, you get something like that, but you see we have on both points G2 continuity. We don't want at this one any continuity. So we press here G2 and now you see this looks already much sharper. So if you want, you can here give G1, but G2 will be a little bit sharper, but you can even press D for tension and give here even more sharpness. You see, so you have a very sharp curve and here very long smooth transition. So this surface will be even smoother. So let's press OK, because now again, if you select all of the edges or just Alt click to all of those edges and patch it, now with Shift, you can add Bam, this line. And now you see how sharp this is. But also, if you have, yeah, so stretchy, um, patches, reduce the tolerance or increase it to like zero, zero, one. You see, it just, uh, makes everything a little bit smoother. And now, guys, here again, let's give it G2. So it goes in every direction. And if we press OK now and delete this curve, you see here perfectly. So, If you check out here at the left, I hope you can see it on the YouTube. You see it, it has a little bit, yeah, of some jagged lines in the surface. So it's not so super high quality, but look the right one. First of all, it looks sharper and it looks just here in general more defined. And also here, look the transition. You don't, it, you, you don't see the transition because so if I show you here the line, you don't see anything. Whereas on the left side, you see it. And even here with zebra, you see this one looks much cleaner than this one here. So what we learn from that is, and yeah, basically 
you can give it here now affiliate also, but what you learn from that is if you less, uh, if you use patches and you want super smooth transitions with G2 or just super smooth uh, surfaces, always use um, additional guiding curves. So if you like this kind of theory and practices, let me know in the comments. I would love to create some other examples. Check out my surface modeling essentials guide. It's for free and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.